Good morning, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, and welcome to my vaping series. This episode, Sigeli 100 watt, and I'm actually glad it's showing up in the camera because last time I used the camera, but it's, this is actually balancing on. I think I can't remember, but this time I'm using my phone. So sorry about any audio or anything like that, and the fact that well, you'll be able to see well stuff sits there because it's not right on my PlayStation. But for the box first, it says Sigeli 100 watt on top. I'm hoping that that shows up properly. And it says vape it, love it. it. Says plus right there, and then www.sigeli.com. Then on the side, it just says Sigeli, and on the back, it gives you a QR code thing, and color, and this one's black. I don't know you could get it in gold. And then it says original and exclusive manufacturer Shen Hen Sigeli Technology. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but you can have a look at it if you want. As long as it focuses, it's not going to focus properly. It's just got a bunch of gibberish on the bottom. But as you open it, you get your scale 100 watt and a stupid wee book. Which basically just shows you all the random stuff. How to lock, unlock, power on, off, how to put batteries in and stuff like that. All the usual stuff, and then it's got it in uh, Chinese, I'm guessing. <laughs> then, as you turn it on, it's five clicks. One, two, three, four, five. You'll see it power on. And then, right now, just say check out my Yeah, this is it. That's it. So, what I'll do is I'll put my Kanger Tech. Uh, sub tank on. I have no idea what liquids in this. I've not used it in a while. I've actually got a couple of different products here, including another tank that I will be doing a review on. Right. So, right. First off, because I've been using a different tank, I'm going to, have to turn this down. So there's no way in hell I could use this at 75 watts for this tank. So put this down. Tank is 35. Come on. I hate how this one works, like, force press. Like, oh, I'll get there eventually, guys, so right, right, and then 35. Now just try it again, because I think it's with the ball up one or something here, I'm not too sure. Yeah, I, I think it's been out in the sun too long, even though it's been stone. But because it's been next to the laptop, I forgot that like, just hit the bag away. I'm just setting up a laptop as well while I'm doing this, but... Yeah, it's basically uh, Oval Mist Double Apple 3mg. I do have a 6mg bottle because my jaw is starting to hurt and stuff like that. But, yeah, oh, also, it takes two 18650s. These batteries are actually two that came with my Kanger Tech, the two that I've got, which the boxes are up there for, the real one and the fake one, they both came with a battery, and yeah, they've also got a battery charger thing in there too, it says that you're not supposed to charge these batteries with it, but I've been doing it anyway, and the batteries are starting to look a wee bit shredded, but hopefully that doesn't affect it too much, but yeah, on the screen, let's see if I can see this, oh come on, if I try doing that, is that going to do anything? Nope, it's not going to do it because I don't think I've got a proper focus bit on the front. But as you can see, shows the voltage, the wattage, battery life, and your thingy which is reading 1.6 now for this coil. It's uh, it's 4.6 volts, 35 watts, and my battery's at 66%, so it'll probably last me. Halfway through the day, or most of the day, I think. But uh, yeah, it's a good wee box. It did come with one of these, a white one, but I'm not 100% sure where it actually is right now. Oh well, I don't really use them anyway because they feel horrible. They seem to collect up a lot of dust and stuff like that, so I just prefer to hold the uh, actual mod. Now I've actually got my fan on as well because I'm absolutely roasting in case you couldn't tell. But anyways guys, 
Uh, that's pretty much it. You need a charger for it as well because it does not have any USB anywhere. And if USB just pops up, then that's going to be a kick in the balls for me because I've not noticed any. Yet. And then just checking the back, it shows you your positive and negative. And I just wrap the batteries up like that. Actually, what I'll do is I'll show you the batteries now, just to show you how much a state they're actually in. That one has still got the uh, shoot sticker on it. This other one I didn't bother with that. This one's actually not looking too bad on the back and on the front. I put any any vapors that won't trust the You need to get a spider to replace, but it's getting really bad. But, but wait, are they both the same? Right, so the blue one, or the bluish one with the red sticker on it is uh, ICR18650 30A Samsung battery. And then it says SDI. And 2F11, and this one is an INR18650 25R Samsung SDI 52F52. And I'll just try and show you them without. At least that's shown up a bit better. It must just be the way the screen's working. But yeah, I'll just put these. Actually, there's no point in putting these in, back in there now. So yeah, been using this along with another one that I've started to review on, which is the uh, Cooper Plus. Just leave that sitting there for now. Where's the back for the Cooper Plus again? Where now did I leave it? Oh, I'll find it anyway. But anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that. If you did, leave a like, a comment, and stay tuned for more. Goodbye for now.